Hey you guys, I just got home from practice, that's why I look so messy. Um, tonight was an endurance practice, so there was a lot of working out to it, and I just, just got home, so I haven't really cleaned up yet. But um, before I do, I wanted to give a review on my antics, which I've had for, I want to say three months right now, so I've gotten a pretty good feel for them. And this is what the antics look like. This is a view of the outside. Not a lot of people know this, but Rydell actually makes the boot. You see here, it goes up a little higher on the ankle, but it is actually quite flexible all the way down to where the symbol starts. That's when it starts to feel hard. So all of this up here can flex. And you look at all of this and you think, oh, that, that looks like a mess to uh, deal with. Um, it takes a bit longer than your average skate, but that means that you can use more than one set of laces and you have a lot of different ways you can tie this. Now if you look up here, you'll see there is there's this extra hole here if you want to make it a little more tighter around your ankle. That will kind of push this down a bit so that it will give you um, more of a bend here. Or you can skip it completely and just go straight up to this hole right here. Now as you can see, I do not have any lace in this hole. That's because I chose not to tie it there. I've seen numerous skaters tie with this hole. I've seen some who will only go up to this one right here. Now the laces, I will warn you, they are a good length in my opinion. After you tie them here, right where this hole is, or this one or that one, whichever you choose, is completely up to you. On the back of the boot, there's a little loop right here that you can tie the lace through and wrap it around back to the front and tie it there. So it'll be extra tight around your ankle. It'll give it almost um, the pure exact shape of it. Now the inside is leather. Okay, so you can see that it's got a shape of my foot, which took a while to make. I'm not going to lie. It, it hurt a little along the way. It felt very stiff when I got it. And right here is very, very spongy. And this has a wonderful feeling against my ankles. Much, much better than just cushion because sponging, if you don't like, excuse me for the camera quality. I'm very, very sorry about that. If you don't like it being this thick, you can take some scissors and trim some of it out. I've done that before with my ice skates where I trimmed it out a little bit and it made me feel a lot better because of course you need to be able to bend your leg. And for some people, it's it's just too tight to have it all the way up there. This part right here is really rough. You can see how it's become a little white. That's because I've been pretty rough with it. You fall a lot in roller derby. So this part is going to slide. A lot of people you will see put duct tape on the front or they put some kind of covering that latches onto the toe stop and then you tie it up here so it, it makes a cover. I find that those tend to shift back and forth a lot. So I took that off and decided not to use it. My old pair of Carreras, I did use duct tape, but then I read that it's not so good for the material. So when I got these, I heard that the... Um, front is really really tough and it is it is almost rock solid and uh, considering how rough we've been practicing lately I have full trust that this is not going to break down on me now the plates you have more than one option you can get the reactor or you can get the revenge I chose to get the revenge that's got these kind of diagonal holes to it and it came with the trucks everything everything was put together pretty well and the toe stop it came with the gumball now the gumball toe stop for those of you who are not familiar with it it leaves a very very large footprint which gives you much much more stability than any of those smaller ones you may come across it takes at least three seconds for me to come to a complete stop, which does annoy me because I prefer to have a really quick stop. But if you have a grippy floor like we do, because ours is made for speed skaters, this will do just fine. If you are on a floor that is very slippery, you'll want something grippier. But in my opinion, this is fine the way it is. 
how to tighten it and loosen it. This little hole right here, you can see mine's not <laughs> mine's not shiny and perfect anymore. But um, this little hole is how you loosen, tighten, and are able to remove. Um, I'm trying to give you a good picture. There's kind of this. You see that line between the gum stop and my G-Rod wheel, the white wheel? See that little line in there? That loosens and widens, allowing you to remove the toe stop. Now, this, this little hole here, you need a special tool to work with it. And that is this right here. If you can see what that is. Every person I know that has had to use a tool like this, has said to me do not lose it because they are a pain in the neck to replace I've seen skates with um, similar tools some of them are not quite the same shape but have you know the similar idea it's something that you can't just find easily in your toolbox um, so I've been keeping a really really close eye on this tool I have not yet loosened my my toe stops or tried to, so I cannot say if it's perfect or not. But I did find that um, right here started to rust quite easily on me. It's like you know, even just a little drip of water seemed to get it so bad right now. It's all brown. So um, our next practice, we're thinking of removing the toe stops completely and trying to um, practice without them. If you want to know why a skater would do that, I suggest you Google it or ask your coach. So that's the basic idea. As for the wheels that it comes with, I ordered the package just to be clear. Um, as for the wheels, you have the option of getting either Berserks, which are quite thick and wide. Um, they have different hardnesses, of course, and come with different colors. Or you can get the heartless wheels, which are the narrowest wheels on the market. If you need stability, this is not the way to go. These are 94 A's, and they're called heartless breakers. 62, 62 milliliters. I love the designs they have on them. They're really cool. These are the bearings they came with. I'm not even sure what kind of bearings they are. They weren't nearly as good as my reds, but um, I don't think everything's really anything's really going to amount to how I feel about my reds. They, I've had them for over a year, and I absolutely love them. So I chose to get all eight of them to be heartless. I give them a try on the floor. I was able to juke a lot easier as a uh, jammer but it did not do well for me at all with blocking I had a very hard time being able to um, to hold myself together it just didn't work so I didn't use them I'll do another video on my wheels note very very important note one of the most important things you should know about antics is that antics have their own sizing chart you need to take a ruler and actually measure your foot you can't say go down two sizes from your street shoe go down one size because they are so specific i've had two teammates order the wrong size because they didn't know about the sizing chart literally take a ruler and measure your foot do not waste five hundred dollars on a skate and then find out it doesn't fit you okay one more thing i want to mention before i forget the inside, the padding on the inside, this is what this is what it looks like. Okay, it's I'm so sorry for this crappy view. This is what it looks like. You know, it's just regular yellow. You can see there's a little imprint of my foot. When I turn to the side, you can see there is a high arch in there. So if you have a high arch in your foot, this will be an answer to your prayers. I, however, do not have high arches, so it was very uncomfortable for me. I took it out, and I just got some foam, and I cut it to the shape of my foot and stuck it in there, and it has been great. So, so far, I'm very happy with them. I had to tie them a number of different ways before I found a way I was comfortable with. But after I figured out exactly how I want it, I became so happy with it, I would not trade them for anything.